and I think there are a few life lessons you can actually learn while you study and understand these ornaments. here in South Africa on a safari and I think there are a few life lessons you can actually learn while you study and understand these animals. Let's start off with the lions man. It's like one of the facts I found out is that these female lions they can actually co-parent a cub so a cub from one mother can actually milk off another mother uh, while it's growing up. So likewise in life, you know, sometimes you need to be in an environment where people will help you nature what you're giving birth to, whether it be uh, a company, whether it be a book you're writing or a project you're working on. You have to be in an environment where you have supportive systems, people who can encourage you, support you financially, or maybe just give you the right direction to help you nurture the thing that you're about to birth. So come on, let's continue this journey as we learn life lessons from the animal kingdom. We are talking about the wild African dog, man. This animal here is uh, it's similar to the hyena, but it's different in its own right. Uh, it has so many features to it, but the one that really interests me was its ability to hear. It can hear up to 100 meters. It might not sound like that much, but it can hear at a very low frequency to the point that it can hear your heartbeat from 100 meters, man. So when you look at that kind of a skill, that's applicable in so many areas of life. Whether it be you're in business or you're simply a person who deals with people, you have to be able to listen. Listen to what people are saying to you. Listen to the feedback of the customers. Not everyone is hating on you, but they could actually be providing feedback that you can use constructively to develop your product, retune your ideas, move your, 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 your project forward. So it's about having the ability to listen. That's why we got two ears and one mouth. So if we can learn how to listen, we can do better in life and in business, just like a while ago. Okay, as we continue on the life lessons from the animal kingdom, we just saw the cheetah there, man. Amazing facts about this animal. It can run up to 120 k's per hour, but it can only do it for up to 400 meters, man. So it has to catch its prey within 400 meters or it'll call it a day. Uh, so you also have to know your limits in life. Uh, sometimes it's a case of you might be working, working, trying to get that project done, try to get that assignment. But there will come a point whereby you will no longer be effective. Same thing with the cheetah. After 400 meters, it overheats that it can even burn its own organs. So, so many, of, so many people out there are suffering from what we call burnout. Just simply because you don't know your limits. You keep running at it. You keep working on that project. 12 hours but maybe if you just take a break call it a day leave to fight another day you'll be able to get up and be more effective at what you do know your limits avoid burnouts and you'll be effective in what you're doing about 17 years old she was actually she's actually pregnant by the way she does not stop eating so if you want more she doesn't stop eating. I love it 
So when it comes to protection, don't be afraid to protect your ideas. Take the necessary steps, whether it be getting copyright or you are getting your lawyers involved in protecting any infringement of, the, of your copyright or, or your patents. That way you're able to hold your market advantage or your distinctive branding. Uh, and that's number one, protection. Protect your idea, protect your concepts. Learn from the tortoise. It survives by protecting itself.